And hello, welcome. We are here at the uh, installation screenshot of uh, the Joomla 2.5.0 Beta 1 installation. I've just uploaded the beta file to my web host and uh, I'll be building uh, the site to the default state just to see how it goes and you can follow along with me. My name is Michael McGinn and uh, I'm happy you're uh, spending the time to watch this video. Alrighty, so uh, you can pick your language. I'm going to do English. Click Next. Checks to make sure everything is okay and everything's supported. So it looks like everything's good here with my hosting company. Uh, the display errors is on, so it's going to display any errors that it gets, which is a good thing. So, next. Agree to the public license, all good there. Next. Local host, username. Ah, I gotta go create my uh, database. So I'll go here. Let's do. Joomla beta to. So if a user Okay. That doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put the sample data in, just see what goes on with it. And we'll click on the next here. Okay, so we'll go back and remove the installation folder. We'll do a reload. at the site. Let's see what this looks like. Not bad. So that was fairly quick and quick, simple and painless. Alright. Uh, let's take a look at the back end. Uh, 
Everything looks good there. Oops. There we go. Looks good there. Version 2.50 beta. That's neat. So some new buttons here. Joomla is up to date. No updates at this moment. Click on find updates. Nothing to find. Very cool. Database, what's up? Oh, that's neat. It's got a database checker. Very cool. User notes. What's this about? This is something new. Notes about a user. Hm. View time. Oh, so it's a one-to-many relationship of notes. Very interesting. Hmm. hmm. So tickets, basically. Trouble tickets. Update tickets. Whatever you want to use. So that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Tink, tink, tink. Yeah, right on. That's neat. Let's see what else is new. Well, hey, let's check out the media manager.
Yeah, trying to get it to browse. What's going on with that? Hmm. Dang it all. Out of box experience for this just never seems to work for me. <sighs> okay, let's try this. Let's just check and make sure it's not my Chrome browser. What's the problem? So let's view this in Firefox. One more frozen. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Well, it loaded. That's good. Let's see if I can browse. Well, the link works. Clicking, clicking many times, clicking. Hmm. No file browser. <coughs> Let's see. Bring my file browser up. Open up 15 of these. Nice. Close that one, close that one, close that one. See all tabs. Minimize. Close that one. Let's open this one back. Give it a refresh. I want to browse files. flicker in like it's trying to do something. Hmm. Copy that. Close that. Try it in Internet Explorer.
All right, here we are in IE. Notice there's a different size bar here. That's interesting. Okay. So we're in IE9. Let's see if browse files works. Browse files works. Oh, hey, look at that. Browse files works. All right, let's look at pictures. Let's just upload a picture. And that. That picture, that picture, that picture. This picture. Okay. Well, hey, look at that. And it seems to work. Let's see if we can start the upload. Yay. Oh, 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 look at that. Works right out of the damn box. I like it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm liking this. This is cool. Awesome. Very cool. Well. Well, so there you go. Extensions are up to date. It updates. That's cool. Looks good there. Text filters. That's cool. Text filter systems. Yep, yeah, right, all right. Very cool. No filtering on the super users. That's neat. So that's for uh, when you enter stuff through your HTML uh, editors for your articles and stuff like that. This will strip out the dangerous HTML or or not. Or no filtering or whatever. So that's kinda cool. Some system info. Oh yeah, good stuff. Okay. Very nice. Well, there you go. Have fun, enjoy, test it. Looks like it works to me.